Yo, what's up guys, new video talking about artifacts. And the reason I'm making this video is because we are going to have the SF and PC Abyss Dungeons pretty soon. I think it's SF at the end of August and PC at the end of the next month. So for that reason, it's pretty interesting to look at artifacts and where to use. I did make a video about how to farm artifacts and what artifacts to look for previously already. And I will be linking that in the description down below. And that one is a little bit older, but still very relevant. So what am I focusing on on this video? I'm going to be focusing on specifically going into each individual unit and calling out what artifact lines I recommend to go for the unit. I have a few things to keep in mind. Metas might change and therefore some units might be used a little bit differently. Um, I will be calling out if a unit is used in multiple places like Siege, RTA, Arena, Offense, Defense, uh, Dungeons, whatnot. I will be mentioning like the different things individually as well. I will be calling out left artifact and right artifact. The main reason for that is just easier than saying the type and the element every time. So element is the left, type is the right one, just to keep that in mind. And in general, a big disclaimer, it's often better to go for a multiple set of lines that are useful towards your unit, rather than just saying like, okay, I have a Lucian, I just go crit damage skill three, like the highest I have, and that is probably good to go. No, technically it's actually better to go for an artifact that has some crit damage S3, some attack increasing effect, and some additional damage from attack, for example, or crit damage max or something like that. How can you figure out for like most damage? Well, to be honest, it's just trial. But let's get into the video of this specific element and let's go through every unit. So I'm gonna press on this one to get the arrow up and I start from the top this way all the way to the bottom. I will not have timestamps in these videos, but you can kind of see where I am with the unit and then you can backtrace like, okay, if I just want to see for a specific unit, I have to go a little bit back or I have to go a little bit forward. I think that's the easiest way to navigate through whatever unit you want to look for specifically because I'm just going to click on the first unit and then go all the way through. And I will do that for each of the videos. Okay, let's move on to winds. Same thing as I did with water. I'm going to skip over units that are not that meta relevant. Maybe I'll just mention them briefly, but... We'll kind of just skip over them. Same as this unit, probably any kinds of crit damage increases, crit damage is max, good. Anything that you can just find to add extra damage, damage element, that kind of stuff. Celia, not really used too much as well. You could max out the curacies, but I guess that's about it. Royd is somewhat used. You could use artifacts on him to max out his accuracy or to higher up his accuracy, mainly on the S1, I would say. Afterwards, you could say if he's high on crit rate to go crit damage on anything, probably min and max and own skill is probably the way to go. What you can also do if he's just full tank and he has decent accuracy to just go uh, additional damage by HP speed because every hit that he does is actually a multi-hit because either you hit three times or you hit two times. Naomi's just crit damage increases and extra damage on water and that's just about it. Mainly focus on the crit damage S2 and it's not used as much anymore as well. It's pretty much never used, pretty much never used, never used. Bernard definitely used. Speed increasing effect is decent but I would rather go for accuracy S2 and crit damage S1 and even crit damage S2. And then left side artifact also just crit damage increases in that way. If you have high crit rate on Bernard, if you do not have high crit rate on Bernard, then probably the only thing you can actually go for is extra speed increasing effect. And that's probably just about it. And then accuracy S3. Ramhan is mainly about the crit damage S3, maybe accuracy S1. If you do use him with a defense buffer, I would go for a defense increasing effect. And then if you use them against a specific element to snipe out, then damage on that. Romagal's not really used, but I would say recovery S2. Maybe damage on element works with this. I don't... Shannon not really used, but accuracy S2. Maybe attack and defense increasing effect. This unit never being used, but has some recovery. So probably additional damage artifacts. I don't know. Like weird build, weird kit. The uh, homunculus is the same thing as the other homunculi. Uh, it's pretty much just extra damage on X element or if you need some extra accuracy on a specific element to get a threshold for a specific dungeon. Go for those first and then afterwards adding extra damage in any kind of shape or way is definitely the I actually don't know too much about this unit. I guess you could say we add extra crit damage on the S2 and S1 and that's probably the way to go. Maybe accuracy S1, S2 as well. I don't know exactly. Um, this is the Cassandra and Cassandra crit damage S2 definitely helps. You could go for some accuracy S3 as well. And then also just crit damage increasing effect or like any kind of crit damage kind of effect improvers, crit damage max, good low, mainly max, I would say, and crit damage own skill, crit damage first skill also works. And then if you want to hit a specific element, that elemental damage. 
This unit never being used, so I'm going to skip that. We have Smicer, and Smicer is Accuracy S3, Accuracy S2, but I would go for a Accuracy combination where both of them are like 12 and 12, or 14 and 14, or whatnot, that you kind of fit with the same Accuracy that you max that out. If your Accuracy is already maxed, I would just say Bomb Damage. Both sides and uh, left side could actually be damage reducers too. Uh, Jade we see being used from time to time. I could say uh, damage increasing effect, accuracy as one. And then also if you happen to have some crit rate on it, crit damage as one. Otherwise it's just some damage reducers. Uh, Angela, I don't think we see this unit being used all too much ever. So we're just going to skip over it. This unit also pretty much never used, and I would just say some accuracy as one as two. Sonia, I would definitely say crit damage as two, but if you use it next to an attack buffer, I would definitely go for attack increasing effect, so you're less likely to get trapped by a high defense unit in siege, for example. So crit damage as two, otherwise it's just all about extra attack power, so attack increasing effect, and then maybe damage on a specific element. But the moment she actually ignores defense, she does like an insane amount of damage. So it's more about hitting the threshold than actually adding more damage, I would say. Zen is somewhat interesting. He does a decent amount of damage if you put crit rate to him. But then I would also aim for like crit damage low, crit damage max, that kind of stuff. Otherwise, I would just aim for accuracy maxing on the S3. Dominic is definitely something that if you put him towards high crit rate, that crit damage is up and crit damage is low and also crit damage S2 definitely does help. If you're not planning to do that, it's just all about the additional damage artifacts, whereas I would aim for additional damage by attack, speed, and HP in that order. Riley is going to be a recovery S1, recovery S3, and then damage reduces, but also uh, speed from lost HP definitely helps Riley out. Oliver depends. If you have a crit rate Oliver, I would go for crit damage on the S3, crit damage on the S2, but preferably crit damage is max, crit damage is low, that kind of stuff, or single target crit damage, first kill crit damage, those kind of crit damage definitely help him out. If you do not have any crit rate on Oliver and you do not have max accuracy, I would definitely aim for an artifact that has like a combination line of all three, or at least the S2 and S3 of similar level that you bring it, for example, to 75 accuracy, and then you have a 10 and a 10, or maybe a 10 in all three. If you do have max accuracy on him already, right side artifact is somewhat useless to a certain extent, but you could add extra damage from HP and speed. Left side artifact on a tanky Oliver is most likely damage reduction from Fire. Momo is probably an accuracy S2. Afterwards, if you have a high crit rate on it, I would go crit damage is up, crit damage max, any of kind of like crit damage increases. And then maybe even damage on specific element or reducer from it. Geo for artifacts, I would definitely go for a accuracy S2 if it's not maxed. I have seen some gears on high crit rate that you can go for crit damage S2. Left side artifact, I would most cases would go for some damage reduction on fire, but also other elements definitely does help out. Cigar is definitely something you already kind of want to have max accuracy or you want to fix accuracy the same way as Oliver, for example, where you have like a 10 in every of the three lines of the three different skills. You make him 75 accuracy and that way you actually get him into uh, speed, at the, uh, speed HP HP and you make him 75 and then the artifact fixes. If you already have max accuracy on this unit. Right side artifact is somewhat useless, I would say. Left side artifact, I would go for any kind of damage reducers like fire, wind, maybe even light and dark. Cashmere is not really used at all, but you could just say like accuracy S3, your damage increases, just something along that line. Junk Pong, I would definitely aim for a max accuracy on the S2 and the S3. Once again, if you don't have max accuracy on this unit, I would aim for a combination line where both of them are maxed with the same base number. So maybe a 10 and a 10 on a 75. If you do have max accuracy already, which I do recommend on Chunk Pong, I will go additional damage from speed, attack, and HP in that order. Or if you have way more HP on him, then he would go speed, HP, and then attack. But additional damage both sides is very good for him. Savannah is definitely an accuracy S3 because she awakens into resistance. Accuracy S3 is by far the best thing you can do. Crit damage increases are very nice on her as well. And maybe if you use her in siege defense, damage on water or any kind of uh, damage increases that way. Mephisto, I would say crit damage S1, crit damage S2. Afterwards, it is... Yeah, I would just say like crit damage increases. You could go some damage reducers on fire if you use them in RTA or any kind of shape or way, but probably just some damage increases. Christina is most likely crit damage skill 4, but you cannot go for accuracy skill 4, so you do need some accuracy in the unit itself. 
but I would just say crit damage skill 4 is the only thing. And then attack increasing effect also helps on her. And damage on specific element what you're hitting. Odin is also most likely used with an attack uh, buffer. So definitely attack increasing effect, crit damage as 1. And then maybe the specific element that you're hitting. But otherwise just crit damage as 1 or crit damage as max or anything like that. Darren is not used as much anymore. But I would go for high crit damage as 2. If he's max crit rate or pretty close to max crit rate. Left side artifact, maybe still some crit damage increases or some damage reducers. Lou is not really used all too much. You could say accuracy as one because you have a chance to stun it. The S2 and S3 don't really have too much value. Oh wait, she recovers. So uh, recovery S3 is definitely useful on her. Left side artifact, damage reducers from whatever element you expect to be hit by. Diana is very nice for additional damage by HP and attack. In general, I would recommend you to go for additional damage by attack. It is too bad that they don't show the base stats of uh, Diana when she is in human form, but she transfers all of the HP pretty much into attack. So the more additional damage by attack you have, the higher damage you will actually do. If you have some law, like random lines of crit damage S2 recover or a uh, accuracy S2, definitely does help as well. Wouldn't really focus too much on like specific elemental damage because you can draft her into anything that is not always just water. Fang Yang, you could go for a uh, accuracy as one. Definitely do not go for recovery as two. Recovery as two doesn't work because you give yourself a buff. You do not give yourself a direct recovery. So that skill does or that just doesn't work. Defense increasing effect definitely does work if you always tend to pair it with like an ally or something. Uh, and besides that, additional damage by defense and additional damage by HP. And if you don't use it next to a Leo, additional damage by speed in that specific order. Ganymede is definitely a unit that's very good on the accuracy S3. I wouldn't go, I would max out accuracy uh, on the third skill. It's very important, especially if you want to push back things like a Rakuni, a Shizuka, any of those kind of annoying units with 100 res. But you can add in like a good like 20% accuracy on that S3 in that way. Left side artifacts, you could go damage reduced, but in most cases I just go for additional damage by speed, HP and attack. Because the S1 is a multi-hit and it slightly adds in extra damage for him while just doing the S1 and S3 as well. Hathor is one of those units similar to Oliver. You could make the artifact on the right side count for all three lines and therefore with lower accuracy you can fix out the uh, full accuracy that way. However, uh, besides that, there's not too much useful stuff on her artifacts. Left side artifacts, probably just damage reducer and that's it. Triton, you can max out the accuracy on the S3 with your artifact. Afterwards, Triton is kind of like luster on artifacts unless you put like crit rate on him and you put like extra crit damage on those things. So I would just say like you could add some additional damage by speed and maybe a HP and attack. But he's not going to have multi hits, it's just AoE hits. So it's not that great for him. Akamamir mainly used in GB, so definitely crit damage S2, crit damage S3, crit damage as max, crit damage on water, and that's pretty much all there is for it. Tiana is for sure crit damage S2, but also crit damage max. Um, left side artifact could be a specific element that you're trying to hit. Some people tend to go for extra damage on fire, but to be honest, I think Tiana should be either draft or used in a way in arena or anything else where your fire unit can be killed by something else than Tiana. So I just prefer to go for crit damage S2 and crit damage max on the left side. And then crit damage S2 on the right side, of course. If you tend to always use it with an uh, attack buffer, I would still go for those crit damage because the crit damage actually scales from enemy max speed or enemy speed rather than just fully from her attack. Uh, Pung Beak is very simple, just crit damage skill 3, attack increasing effect and damage on specific elements. That's it. Athena has a bunch of ways to build. It is not bad if you have some accuracy S2, accuracy S3, but in most cases you just want to go full on additional damage. And then mainly additional damage by speed, attack and HP in that order. Otherwise, if you have some crit damage S3 or some crit damage S2 in there, it's definitely not bad as well. Retouch, I would go for a recovery S2. You could go for accuracy S3 and S1. Left side artifact, probably some damage reducers or something like that. Eladriel, probably recovery S2 is also not used too much. Recovery S2, damage reduces, that's it. Xing Tzu, I would definitely go for extra accuracy on the S1 because his passive lands the S1 and if that's higher accuracy, it's more likely to stun. If you are max on crit rate but not that high crit damage, a crit rate S1, crit rate S2 or just extra damage on counter definitely helps as well. If you are higher on damage in general, you could go damage on a specific element if you only use it into water, for example, or otherwise just go damage reduces. Leo, in most cases, I do like my Leo kind of squishy, but if you use him for, uh, well, at least that's for RTA, if you use him for Siege, Siege Leo is mostly a lot more tanky. 
Accuracy S1 is very useful because that's still a lot of chip damage that you can land if your Leo is not too much on damage. Afterwards, if your Leo is actually on a lot of damage, just the crit damage is max, crit damage is one, crit damage is two, damage on specific elements, single target crit damage, own skill crit damage, all of those crit damage increase. Charlotte is definitely a unit for additional damage by speed and also HP and attack. Probably just speed, attack, and HP in that order, and then defense is always a nice addition. Uh, you could also go for Accuracy S3 if the Accuracy is not maxed on her S3. Then Accuracy S3 might actually have higher value than speed kind of things. Sierra is also for additional damage by speed, attack, and HP. But you can also go for bomb damage, Accuracy S2, but CR is not really used as much anymore. Lagmaron, definitely I would go for crit damage S2, that is main skill. You could go for some Accuracy S3, but it's less useful. I think it's mainly on the crit damage S2 and maybe the specific element that you try to snipe with Lagmaron. As elemental damage. Dasha, I would definitely go for either crit damage S3, crit damage is max, crit damage is min, and damage on water most likely is what you're using him for. Jemire is a good one for crit damage S1, mainly if you have him high crit rate and low crit damage, which you do see quite some. Crit damage S2 is an option as well, but I would mainly focus on crit damage S1. And then left artifact, you could go some damage reduces, but most people just go for very high damage Jemire, so you're also focusing crit damages in there, or maybe even a specific element that you're planning to hit. Katarina is very simple, all about the S3, so a crit damage S3, attack increasing effect, and then maybe even some extra damage on a specific element that you're expecting to hit, but in most cases you don't really know what she's hitting, so just attack increasing effect and more crit damage is the way to go. Ursha, not really used too much, but I see a lot of multi-hits and a lot of multi-hits are simple, just a lot of additional damage by probably attack, speed, and HP in that order. Wind Eye Force, not really used, that's the one that eats the dots, but don't really see this unit being used. Maybe additional damage stuff, or maybe some crit damage uppers, I don't know. Ezio Wind, I don't really see being used as well, but probably crit damage is 3, crit damage is 2, crit damage increases, and that kind of stuff. Proline is definitely an interesting unit. Um, you do always have attack buff on it, so attack increasing effect is pretty useful on him. And then probably just some crit damage increases if you have a build where he has some crit rate. Otherwise, I would just go for additional damage by attack or something like that. The Wind Express a Cookie, I don't think anyone ever uses it, so I'm just going to skip it for now. Nubalung, I don't think anyone uses this kind of stuff as well. This recovers on the S2, right? Yeah, so recovery S2 is probably the way to go. Maybe some crit damage as well. Selene is not really used too much as well. So um, I think just attack increasing, defense increasing effects are probably the best on her in general. Robo, uh, for Robo, if you do not have max accuracy, I would go accuracy S2, S3. Definitely, I do recommend to max out the accuracy in the build itself and then just go for additional damage by speed, attack, and HP in that order. Or if you have more HP than attack, then go for speed, HP, and attack in that order. And once again, if you have a line that, or an artifact that has multiple lines and even defense in there, that's probably the best way to go for it. Fuki can use a lot of these things from lost HP. So speed, attack, and defense from lost HP is very good on Fuki. Fuki, you could also say additional damage on water or accuracy as one those are probably the best ways to go for fuki this unit probably not really being used so i'm just gonna skip it in this case you could say because it always gives the attack uh the attack increase or attack increasing effect that kind of stuff some crit damages up or anything like that Jared, i don't think he's being used as much as well maybe some accuracy maxes and that's about it yanghua is probably something that you just want to go fully on damage reduce so damage reducer of whatever element that you're most likely to be hit by right side artifact maybe you can even go for like crit damage taken or uh, defense from lost hp that kind of stuff. malight i would definitely say that you want to go for a uh, accuracy as two accuracy as one Maybe you can go for some crit damage increase, but most of the times my light is just fully on tankiness. So accuracy is definitely going to help him more than adding crit damage in because he's not going to have that much crit rate. Left side artifact just damage reduces in general of whatever you're planning to hit. Carbine is definitely something that you could put a attack increasing effect on. Besides that, it's just all about his S1 damage that he does. So crit damage is S1. And you can even put like the specific elemental damage on him as well. If you put him to revenge, you could say counter damage on him, but... I would rather say just elemental damage and attack increasing effect, crit damage as one and that kind of stuff. Skogol, to be honest, I'm not really sure what kind of artifacts make sense on him. I would say left side artifact damage reducers. I'm not sure if you can actually put more damage to him or his uh, skill doesn't work with additional damage art or elemental damage artifacts. Might that it actually work? If it works, would go for those. If it doesn't work, I would go for damage reducers. 
right side artifacts probably pretty useless to him so damage decreasers or just additional damage by hp maybe or something melia is a unit that you just want to have maxed out on the accuracy if she's maxed out on the accuracy anything to reduce the damage kind of shape or way that you can do is the way to go for her. zenobia same as all of the other twins the main thing for her is co-op damage if you want to do damage on them you could say accuracy s3 is pretty nice for this third skill that's a pretty strong debuffer in general artifact just co-op damage and then damage on whatever element you're expecting to hit same thing for Melissa, crit damage S3 is maybe more useful, but besides it, just call damage. Triana is recovery S2, left side, or recovery S2 on the right side. Uh, right side, you can also, if you have Triana on high crit rate, a crit damage S1. Left side artifact is most likely, if you have that crit rate and crit damage on her, then you would definitely go for some damage on water, most likely if it's on defense and otherwise it's just damage reduction from whatever you expect to be hit by morris not really used much but i would say additional damage by speed hp and attack and maybe some accuracy as to to land more on this kind of stuff raviti not really used windy definitely used left side artifacts very simple damage reduction of whatever you expect to be hit by in most cases fire right side artifact is additional damage by hp speed and defense in that order attack is also pretty decent if you have a little bit of that just a lot of additional damage artifacts that you have on him immensity is not really used too much these days but if you have some stats to him where he does some damage with crit rate the crit damage still actually adds a lot of value to him and you can say well defense increasing effect doesn't really help him so i would just say crit damage increases on him besides that you don't really need him to tank too much or damage decreases probably don't really add too much kind of depends why you're using what kind of build ayuno we don't see too much accuracy s2 definitely does help uh, for landing the branding crit damage s2 because that's the heavy damage skill and i think it's just adding on in like a lot of crit damage min max um, own skill crit damage all of that kind of good stuff maybe even damage on specific element Olivia doesn't have too much going for her in sense of artifacts. I would probably say additional damage artifacts just to add a little bit more damage to her. You could say that you want to go for some accuracy, higher uppings on skills, but don't think it does too much. So probably the additional damage by speed, HP, defense is the way to go. For. Logan is not used too much, but since he has the attack power increaser himself, attack increasing effects pretty useful. And then I would just say any crit damage increases and damage increases to whatever you expect to hit element tanya is also increaser of attack power so attack increasing effect and then afterwards crit damage as three mainly and i would go for whatever uh, element you're expecting to hit of increasing effect on that lupine is not really used too much um so let's just skip her she's not that great Kicklet, Kicklet definitely want to go for Accuracy S3. If the Accuracy S3 is like pretty much maxed or already maxed, you could go for Crit Damage S3 because she does have Elemental Advantage. If you have a little bit of Crit Rate, it does add in a little bit of that as well. Or you can just go simply for Additional Damage by Speed, HP, and then Attack in that. Barkey, I don't think he's used too much, but you could uh, higher up the Accuracy on the S1 most likely. And afterwards, just go for any crit damage increases on S1, S2. Don't go for crit damage S3, uh, increases on the S3 because it's S3 is technically just an S1, S2 combination. So just extra crit damage on him. And then afterwards, you want to go for damage on right element. Grassfeld, I would say you can go for attack increasing effect. You can go for even like speed increasing effect, but they're not too high on value. So probably just anything to add in extra crit damage on him and then damage right element. And that's probably it. Wuchi, I would say Accuracy S3 if you use him in TOA kind of stuff, maybe even Accuracy S2. Afterwards, he's not too interesting, you can put some additional damage artifacts on him for like speed, HP, attack, but he's not that great. Jasun also not really used too much, so I would just say Recovery S2 and then damage reduces left side, that's about it. Taurus, simply bomb damage increases and Accuracy S2 and that's it. Aquila, I would definitely go for a Accuracy S3. Besides that, there's not too much interesting stuff to him. You could say that you go for attack increasing effect or additional damage by speed and attack and then go from there that way. Lingling, Ling, I would simply just go for anything increasing the crit damage. If your accuracy is not maxed enough to land in these uh, where they had remove or uh, prevent from be receiving beneficial effects, then I would definitely do say that adding some accuracy, otherwise just anything to add in extra crit damage. If you used against SF only, I would go for damage. Kaito not really used too much or at all, but I could see like some crit damage increases, attack increasing effect if you use it with a nuking uh, style and that's about it. 
we'll go not really use as much or at all maybe some curacy s2 and some crit damage increases that's about it Briant is not much used at all so let's just skip yen just crit damage increases on the s2 and the s1 and yeah damage right element argon pretty much same thing just damage increases you could say a little bit of accuracy on the s3 that's pretty useful but besides it's just anything to add more crit damage to his build where he's already high on crit rate and damage right element julian i think kind of the same thing as well just add in more damage uh, crit da or maybe an accuracy s3 but also not used that much Sonia crit damage S3 as well. Maybe you want to go for an accuracy S3 if her S3 is not uh, or if she's not maxed on accuracy for what you need it for. Besides that, just damage increases in general with uh, crit damage kind of stuff. Orochi is also most likely crit damage increases on as well, pretty much every skill. So crit damage own skill is probably the best way to go. Could go some accuracy S3. It's not really that important, but you could do it. Left side artifact, you could just go whatever element you're expecting to it. Lucian is definitely one of those units you want to go for a combination artifact. So don't go purely on crit damage S3. Go for crit damage S3 in combination with attack increasing effect in combination with the additional damage from attack in combination with crit damage more in combination with crit damage law. Sure, you cannot have five lines of artifacts in there, but something along the lines where you have the highest combination of the three of them, literally like... What I do is it's not a correct assessment, but I just add in all of the three numbers. So let's say I have like an eight in uh, crit damage skill three and eight in additional damage by attack and a, an eight in attack increasing effects. Together, that's a 24 so that it will be the same value as a 24 crit damage skill three. It's not entirely true, but simple rule of thumb, that kind of way you can kind of like simplify it that way. But the best way to do it is just trial and error. Just equip an artifact, see your Lucian damage, try another artifact see your lucian damage that way left side artifact in most cases is still the exact element that you want to do damage on in combination with an attack increasing effect in combination with an additional damage by attack but the element is the strongest factor to it if you don't know what element it's just the other two and then maybe a crit damage selena not really used let's just skip a case is not used skip shimate i would definitely go for crit damage s2 well mainly crit damage s2 because it actually does more damage than the s3 or you just go simply for a, a lot of additional damage by attack, speed, and HP. Delphoi not really used, but I could see an Accuracy S2 to max out this on Accuracy and a Recovery S3. Left side, probably some damage reducers. Arang is also not really used, so probably just some damage increases as well. Erwin also not really used, and then we go into the net threes that are all not really used. Let's see if there's anything. Math is not really used all too much. You could go Recovery S2. And then, yeah, pretty much just that, I guess. Damage reduces on left side. Anything else is not really being used. Nope. Okay, so that's it for all of the wind elements. Hope you enjoyed this video. And see you as always in the next one.